Uh, Leonard Skinner had a uh, second show at the St. Augustine Amphitheater. Skinner! Yeah, due to overwhelming demand for tickets on their upcoming performance, uh, the band has added another concert date. That's very nice. nice. Leonard Skinner will now be performing two concerts to accommodate their enthusiastic fans. The first concert is going to take place at 7.30 on Thursday, October 5th. The second will be held at the same time on Friday, October 6th. Mm. There you go. Tickets for the Friday concert on sale recently sold out within a week. And uh, over 100 seats out of the 5,000 seat venue uh, already paid for. Prices uh, for the tickets range from $45 to $170. That's reasonable. Yeah. One of the most reasonable prices for tickets I've seen at the Amp this year. I love it. For those interested in attending the concert, tickets will go on sale 10 a.m. Friday, August 4th. That's this Friday, right? Yep. There you go. You can find tickets at Ticketmaster.com or at the venue's box office. It's better to buy them at the box office, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, because uh, you don't have to pay the Ticketmaster stuff. Insane Ticketmaster yeah. fees. Oh, so for box real? O- box office saves oh, yeah. you probably 8 to $10. Yeah. Wow, that's a hot dog. So, I'm, well, <laughs> well you to, if you're buying six tickets, I mean, it yeah. makes yeah. a difference. Yeah. Yep, for sure. All right, cool. So mark your cal- calendars and secure your seats. Go to the box office. Freebird. No yeah. scamming at the box office. No. No. Get yeah. real tickets That's at the box right. office. That's true story. <laughs> you know what you're getting at the box office. <laughs> Scratch and sniff. Do they still, do they hand you physical tickets? Or do uh, they some shows do. Some, link. Link. Okay. <laughs> some shows do. Some, it's rare now. Yeah. I mean, everything's pretty much on your phone now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. The QR code thing. What yeah. if I don't have a smartphone? Oh, yeah. yeah. You can pick them up at will. Put call. it on your forehead. They'll, they'll scan it. Print them out. Pick it up at will. <laughs> they have a hammer. You'll be, <laughs> scout, <laughs> you'll be scout out as they're scanning. Like, <laughs> oh, I know, right? <laughs> How old are you? Yeah. <laughs> I got the jitterbug phone. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't do QR codes. What's a QR code? I hit reset. <laughs> I turned it off and on again. A flipper Rooney. <laughs> so I just take a picture. It's not working. Yeah, I know. Right. Troy, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be like the hip one, though, at Sunnydale Farms one day. <laughs> like, Let me show you how to text. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let Troy show you how to text. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's oh, true. No. Oh, no. oh, that's really true. I walked into that one. Oh, yeah. Boy. Whoopsie doodle. Right. I, my dyslexia shows up strong. In <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> We've got a man, uh, a man whose charge has been downgraded after a St. John's County sergeant's death here. Mm. Um, uh, the state has amended charges against the man arrested in connection with uh, Sergeant Michael Kunovich's death. Uh, Virgilio Aguilar Mendez, 18 years old, now facing aggravated manslaughter charges uh, of an officer and resisting an officer with violence. Uh, this is what court documents show from the St. John's County clerk of the court on Tuesday. Initially, Aguilar Mendez was charged with a felony murder in the death of Sergeant Kunovich. However, Assistant Public Defender Rosemary Peoples filed a motion on July 21st uh, requesting an examination of Aguilar Mendez's mental competence to stand trial. The judge still has not responded to that motion, this article actually says. Judge Arlie Smith, the same judge that's uh, done some pretty high-profile cases here in Mm -hmm. St. John's County since Mm -hmm. taking the bench. Uh, Aguilar Mendez's felony arraignment scheduled for August uh, 28th at 1.30 p.m. just before uh, before Judge Smith. <clears throat> Presently, he's being uh, held still in the St. John's County Jail. Um, it goes through a recounting of the events, and we've recounted that uh, yeah, it's a whole lot here on the show. Very really, tragic. it's very, very, very tragic, man. Um, <clears throat> so we'll, we'll, of course, keep up on that for you as it, uh, as it develops. 